Finally, on a rainy evening in Morgantown, only one team, the Syracuse Orangemen, stood in the way of the Mountaineers and their dream of a perfect season. We could have beat anyone. We went out there to become the elite. When you go undefeated in major college football, you're no longer a 10 and one team, you're an elite team. And that's what we wanted to be and there was no one taken that away from us. West Virginia demolished the Orangemen in an awesome display of power football. For the 11th time this season, they had completely controlled every aspect of the game. But their victory on this day was more than just another win. This was a triumph of perfection. It was a victory not only for the university, but for the entire state. And after the game, Mountaineer faithful showered their team with a spontaneous ovation that will be remembered for a lifetime. That's probably the strongest memory I have of, of that last year was when we went out on the field, it was amazing. I still get chills when I think about it because, you know, we went back out on that field and no one had left. You know, there were 66,000 people there probably 20 minutes after the game, and no one left. And we went out there, and I remember Coach Nealon, you know, we put him up on our shoulders and took him around the field, and we just took, took off, running around the field, and took a victory lap. And God, what a feeling that was. It still gives me chills when I think about it. It's, it's hard to put into words you know, how that felt. But uh, just the, to know that that many people, you know, would feel that way about you is, is, is something special. They called it the game of the century. The undefeated Mountaineers versus the unbeaten Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Incredibly, Don Nealon had brought a school from one of the smallest states in the Union to the very brink of a national championship. However, the dreams of a national title that night ended for West Virginia when Major Harris was injured on the game's third play. Notre Dame rose up to defeat the Mountaineers 34 to 21. For Don Nealon and his squad, the loss was a disappointing finish to a magnificent year. A season which saw West Virginia climb to the very pinnacle of collegiate football. It brought to new heights a gridiron tradition of pride and excellence. Under Nealon, there has been a virtual parade of WVU players marching into professional football. From quarterbacks to defensive backs, from linebackers to linemen, the Mountaineers have left their mark in the NFL. <laughs>